Well, to finish, uh, let's have a look at the surface tab. This tab is about adding or subtract a surface from the main one. As you can see on the lister here, you don't have uh, your ground because the ground can't be uh, subtract. It's uh, the default one. But after you can add or subtract uh, mesh. So it's only working with mesh, uh, don't work with uh, curves or any type of component. If I want to add the sphere, I select the sphere and I click on the blue plus button. I wait some second and that will add the surface. Okay, now same thing for subtract. You select a mesh, red sub button, waiting some second. Okay, it will keep for you the um, uh, transform selected so you can directly move. As you saw, it uh, hide the mesh for you. Here with a little dot, you can hide or show the geometry if you want. Okay. Uh, select the name, give you direct access to this one by clicking here. And here you have um, an indicator for if it's a add or a sub, which is great, but that can also work as a switcher, which means if now I want this guy to be uh, an ad additive one, I click here, waiting, and now my torus is additive. Okay, and this one is for the date. It delete and of course it keeps you the torus. If you have to work with a more complex object, for example uh, this house, of course uh, don't try to add each mesh as a subtract. It's not necessary, just create a quick blocking mesh and just add this one with group that works uh, perfectly. Okay, a good workflow also uh, helps the, the tool to work correctly. So here I will just add this one. Okay, and now just select your groups and that will be quicker to compute. Now, you also of course have some uh, parameter. If you want active the scale Fall off that will made a fall off between uh, the subtract or adding object and um, your scattering. If I want something larger in radius, okay. And here you have a min, a max. Just play with uh, with the setting. You can also go to minus value and density of the effect and a randomized one. Ah yes, this one, if you go up to one, that will have an invert effect and uh, you will have, as you saw, bigger. That can be great sometimes, uh, you know, around the uh, rocks, um, the grass is uh, is bigger, for example, you can have this kind of, of effect. So playing with the value. And then you have the invert effect. So because this one will invert everything, so you will lose uh, the plus and will only uh, rocks with the mi minus one. So it's a special effect if you want to turn everything uh, to another purpose. And now all the mi minus will uh, scatter only around an object. And now you have this powerful uh, effect. So this combining with a uh, different uh, layer uh, could be very uh, powerful and, uh, and quick to create complex uh, layering uh, effects.